recent reports from Russian defense industry sources confirm that modernized MiG-31BM and MiG-31K variants are now configured to deploy improved KH-58USH and KH-58MK2 missiles. These upgraded munitions are designed to locate and destroy radar and air defense systems operating in multiple frequency bands, giving the MiG-31 a critical role in neutralizing NATO-supplied defense networks near the Ukrainian front and the Arctic region. The KH-58 series, originally developed during the Cold War, has been modernized with enhanced guidance systems, digital seekers, and longer engagement ranges exceeding 250 kilometers. When launched from high altitude and at supersonic speeds of the MiG-31, these missiles can strike radar sites before defensive countermeasures are activated. Defense analysts note that 2025 marks a renewed emphasis on air-to-ground electronic warfare and standoff strikes within the Russian Air Force. This trend parallels the continued deployment of MiG-31K variants armed with KH-47M2 Kinjal hypersonic missiles, which are capable of deep strike operations against hardened or strategic targets. Tactical significance, extended SEAD range, enhanced missile carrying capacity. Strategic Outlook 2025, the modernization aligns with Russia's broader strategy of long-range precision warfare, where platforms like the MiG-31 act as both high-altitude missile carriers and electronic countermeasure enablers. Analysts warn that the growing diversity of missile loadouts, from KH-58 anti-radiation to Kinjal hypersonic variants, complicates adversary air defense planning as it's increasingly difficult to predict which missile type a MiG-31 sortie may carry.